Hello, and welcome to the fabulous month of October. This year, our calendar is a bit unusual, since school will be closed to honor the Rosh Hashanah holiday, Monday, October 3rd, and Tuesday, October 4th, the Columbus Day holiday on Monday, October 10th, and Yom Kippur on Wednesday, October 12th. A regular school day will be held on Tuesday, October 11th. October is also the month where we traditionally host our homecoming parade, which this year will be on Saturday, October 15th at 2 p.m., followed by our football game against the Hempstead School District at 3.30 p.m. Our award-winning marching band will participate in the annual Newsday Marching Band Showcase on Thursday, October 20th. And of course, our Halloween activities include dances, pumpkin decorating, storybook parades, and our annual Dhaka Kiwanis Parade and Festival. Please refer to our district calendar for the specific dates of these special events. This month, I wanted to use the opportunity to share my video message with my new Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum, Instruction, and Research, Mrs. Diane Provito. As mentioned before, Mrs. Provito probably needs no real introduction, but I thought this would be a great opportunity for those who may not know her or her background to learn a bit more. Mrs. Provito, let me say again publicly how excited I am to have you in this new role. Ms. Provito, I know that most recently you held the position as principal of school number five. Can you take us back to the earliest part of your educational career and what brought you here to this new role? Absolutely. First, I'd like to say thank you for having me. Um, when, I take, uh, when I look back at my career, I always begin with my 14 years as a classroom teacher. Some of those years were spent in the New York City school system and some of those years here in Oceanside. Uh, during that time, I was afforded many different opportunities and uh, some of which have shaped who I am and my career as well as my philosophies. For example, I had um, many opportunities to work at uh, Columbia Teachers College and, and staff develop with their reading and writing project. I also participated in grant writing and grant implementation. Implementation. Uh, Oceanside afforded me the opportunity to move onward to lead teacher, where I worked collaboratively with my colleagues in the area of science, English language arts, social studies. That transitioned to elementary curriculum supervisor, uh, another wonderful opportunity to collaborate with the educators of this community. And then I um, took on the role as School 5 principal for a community that is just wonderful, wonderful students, wonderful families. And that's uh, what brings me here today to this position that I am so honored to have. Well, it certainly seems that very early on people saw some wonderful leadership qualities in you, and I know for a fact that they were definitely correct. So what are you most excited about in this new role? Oh, goodness. To uh, put that in just a few words is a little difficult, but I will say I am most excited to be able to work collaboratively with the educators of this community to continue to refine and reflect on our already excellent curriculum and instruction, but to do it through a K-12 through lens. Um, I also feel that our learners of today are growing up in a very different world where innovation, creativity, um, just th those types of things are valued and needed to be successful. So I'm really looking forward to further growing our STEM initiatives, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, our project-based learning opportunities where ch uh, our students can take informed action or follow a passion our technology initiatives, and, uh, and of course, fostering a love for books and the written word. That will always be something that um, is important and part of what I hope to do in this work. We'll talk a little bit more about that at the end okay. of this conversation. But I certainly um, know that the, um, the world we live in, the education world, has become more challenging for all of us. Mm -hmm. And I certainly know you had your challenges as a school principal. Um, what do you think uh, or anticipate will be one of your greatest challenges in this new role? I believe that in doing this role well, you have to be present and being uh, watching our teachers and our students in action should be at the forefront, as well as having conversations with parents, educators, students. So doing that at the level 
level that I would hope to do, what I what what uh, present means to me, might be a bit challenging in a district of our size. Um, so I'm looking forward to that challenge. I'm ready for the commitment, and I'm looking forward to to making that happen and seeing how that can shape what we do. But for me, it's communication in a district our size to use as a guiding force. I certainly do understand mm -hmm. that. So, Ms. Bravito, I know there are many things you mentioned a few mm -hmm. before that um, you've taken the initiative on or are following up in, um, in a direction that we've been focusing on. But I know for a fact that there's one thing in particular that you started this year that you are very excited about, I'm very excited about, and I know already so many of our community members have jumped on board and are equally mm -hmm. excited. And that's called Oceanside Go Read. Can you tell us a little bit about that initiative? Absolutely. Um, I am incredibly excited about what we're introducing. We've um, launched a community reading movement, we can say, or a campaign. And what we're hoping to do is share a love for reading and show our readerly life, not just with our littlest children, but with all our staff, all our students, pre-K through high school, and throughout the town of Oceanside. So this campaign contains a few components um, of which we're super excited about. One, we're looking to launch live book readings uh, for all our community members, so stay tuned for that. We're also going to, we're weeks away actually from what we're calling an Oceanside Go Read scavenger hunt, which is a take on the Pokemon Go craze. We have sprinkled all over Oceanside books in hidden places. We're going to be tweeting out little hints as to where they are and hoping that people will use these um, clues per se to find these hidden gems and and we're, we're looking for that to be an absolute community event um, and all the while we're hoping that everybody joins us on Twitter at OSD Go Read, which is already on fire, as they say. Um, we have people tweeting their selfies with books in hand. We even have famous authors who have tweeted out and are supporting our campaign. Nelson DeMille is there. We were so surprised. Peter Reynolds. So take a look. Please join us on Twitter and tweet out your um, pictures. And like we like to say, you know, join the movement and anchor yourself to a great book. Well, that's so exciting and incredibly creative, and I certainly look forward to the fruits of all of that labor. So, Ms. Provito, I know I speak for the entire Board of Education and our entire community when um, we congratulate you on assuming this role and will be behind you 100% of the way, but know that we know you will do an amazing job in this new role. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. So thank you all. In conclusion, I remind everyone to look for those rainbows in their clouds. Have a great month.